Nobody likes cliches, but in the eyes of many young British tourists, Dublin was fast becoming one. Over the last five years, visitors from the UK had declined by 50%. They didn't see it as a place you'd go to drink in the atmosphere, they just saw it as a place to go and drink. Fulcher needed to find a new way to engage with visitors and change their perceptions of the city. Young, tech-savvy travellers aren't swayed by advertising. They look to their peers, read reviews and make up their own minds about the cities they visit. So we needed to find a new way to engage and convince them. We couldn't just sell Dublin as a destination. We needed to talk about the things that excited and inspired them. We found the sites and blogs they visited, the things they liked and shared, and the topics they discussed. Ultimately, we uncovered their passions and leveraged those passions by creating relevant and inspiring content that we knew they wanted to see and made sure it constantly turned up in the places they see it. From articles on the rise of tweed and foraging, videos on extreme cycling, illustrations on cult cinema and everything in between, the subject wasn't important, it was about stirring their imaginations and forcing them to rethink their views on Dublin. Things they'd enjoy looking at and want to share with their mates. Dublin always played a role in the content, but it was never the whole story. And it worked. Dublin became a place they were interested in and talking about. People in the UK were looking at and talking about Dublin differently. We created a brand new approach to promoting tourism, where we didn't just talk at people, we got them talking. 